Having trust in yourself to achieve your manifestations, having faith in the universe, believing that this is even possible for you is a big part, I would even say crucial part of conscious manifestation. Now, we are manifesting all day, every day, whether we realize it or not, whether we like it or not, but once we understand that that is the case, oftentimes it causes us to freeze or get scared, we clam up, we start to worry like, oh my God, now that I know I'm doing it, I don't want to do anything wrong, right? I know that's a common feeling, so if you've ever experienced that, this video is for you. Stay tuned. What is up, my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I am Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you would like to get to the bottom of your own limiting beliefs and expectations about what is possible for you, check out my Manifest a Specific Person workshop. It is geared towards relationship, but is really adaptable to anything in your life. After all, everything is energy, right? So it is a great tool. You can get started on it right now if you'd like to get to the bottom of that stuff and start changing your life. The link to that workshop is in the description below. You can also grab that at my website, roxytalks.com. I've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at roxytalks.com. Of course, that link is in the description below. I've also got a brand new version of my 30 Days of Alignment Challenge. It is completely free and it is in the description below as well. Don't forget to join me on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And before we get into this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. I think one of the biggest issues that people run into when it comes to manifesting and actually being successful at things that you're manifesting deliberately is the disbelief or the lack of trust in your ability to actually bring this about. Now, I feel like most of us who are here in this community have at least manifested something small or accidentally done something. You're stumbling upon this information for some reason, or at the very least, you have some sort of internal or instinctual knowing that this might actually be true. We experience these weird little things that we like to call coincidences all throughout our life, but if you subscribe to this, nothing is a coincidence. If it's in your life, it's because it's in your mind. If it's in your world, if you are experiencing it, it's because you entertain the thought in your mind first. Or you saw something or experienced something and it caused you to react in a way that opened the door for it to become a new thing for you. I'll link yesterday's video above where I talk about that very process. Everyone has a varying degree of belief and everyone has a varying degree of ability to consciously manifest what they want. Some people are really good at it and they don't even realize they're doing it. They just don't allow themselves to think thoughts that they don't like. If it doesn't make them feel good, they don't want to actually experience it in their lives. They're not allowing it in their minds for too long. Or if they do have the doubts, they're just like, meh, whatever, bye. It doesn't really matter. Some people do this naturally. Some people don't expect bad shit to happen to them and it doesn't. Some people are good people, but they fear and worry all day. And so they constantly bring things to them that they shouldn't really have to experience. Nobody should. But the thing about life is that it is a constant barrage of good and bad, positive and negative, ups and downs, yes and no's. These are just experiences. They're not actually good or bad in any way, but we define them as so. And the way that we define them, the way that we think about them, determines whether or not we get more of that in our lives. So if you are not careful with what you are doing with your thoughts, your fears, your worries, your doubts, and your reactions to your world, then you are, you're open for really anything. And what you're going to get the most of is whatever you've had before. Simply because it's programmed into you, we all have programs, and if you don't actively work to change those thoughts, they don't get changed. They're just there and they come up, you have certain feelings about them, certain expectations, it shows up in your world, and you're like, oh yeah, that thing again. And because we keep experiencing these patterns over and over again, especially, especially when we've been doing some half ass manifestation stuff, and it still happens even though we think we're being positive, we kind of just believe that's what life is. That's what I'm signed up for. You resign yourself to whatever it is you've experienced, and you're like, this is just what it is. I either can deal with it, I can be depressed, I can make the best of it, I can try to manifest something else, I can try to change my life. You can learn all the manifestation techniques you want and change all your thoughts about it. It's your choice how you deal with it. But if you are resigned to the idea that 
whatever it is that you don't like is inevitable, then it's that belief in itself that makes it inevitable. Not that you actually are destined for whatever it is that you don't want or that you are predisposed to experiencing whatever it is that you don't want to experience. The only reason why you keep getting it is because you have attached it to yourself and to your story and you're allowing it to perpetuate. Every time something even smells of it, you're like, oh, I recognize that thing and you go down the road again. You get triggered and you go on with your reaction. And it's a pattern, it just happens over and over and over again. And it's not gonna stop until you recognize the trigger and refuse to allow yourself to respond the same way. And then you do it the next time that happens, and then you do it the next time that happens, and then you do it the next time it happens, and you do it the next time it happens, and you never stop doing it the next time it happens. Pretty soon, it either stops happening or when it does, you're just like, meh, and it stops affecting you. You're able to turn the tide and go to something else. So making a practice of shifting your thoughts away from stuff that you don't want to experience is not only like fucking 10 times better than wallowing in your shit. It really is, okay? There's no benefit to being a martyr of, what, of your problem, right? But it also helps you build trust in your ability to steer the ship in another direction and your ability to bring something else to your life that isn't what you've had before. Every time you make those changes and you see the results, you start to trust yourself even more. So this is another reason why making this a habit is a good idea because then it's a habit, right? And we trust our habits. We expect them because they always happen. So let's turn this thing that used to be a habit of manifesting something we didn't like into a habit of manifesting something we do like and put that shit all over every area of our lives. I'll link my 360 approach video above, which is where I explain that very process, which is my personal approach to manifesting. But the point of all this is to really think about the idea of building trust within yourself because sometimes your manifestations don't show any signs at all for maybe months, years, who knows how long, decades maybe. You don't see any signs or so you think. But if you believe it's still coming, if you trust that it's still coming, you know you're still working towards it and it's going to happen regardless, then it's going to happen regardless. So finding that sweet spot of, I don't care what my 3D world says or doesn't say, I know where I'm going and I know I will get there and I know I will enjoy myself when I'm there. I know I will be successful at whatever it is we're going towards. That's a practice. You don't just wake up one day and be like, you know what? I fucking, I'm good. Or maybe you do, maybe you do. And great, more power to you. That actually be really great. It's a good idea to wake up and just tell yourself you're the shit. I need to start doing that again. I used to do that back in the day. I need to do that again. But my point is building up a practice and doing this regularly will show you the results that you want so that you can build the trust in yourself. If you are not dedicating yourself to something across the board, I've said this before, if you're doing only half-ass work, you're only gonna get half-ass results. So you want full-ass results, you need full-ass dedication. You can't give half, 50% and expect 100 in return. It just doesn't work like that. It is, it's an exchange, it's a mirror. So put your faith into something that you can count on yourself, right? Because if you really think about it, who's always been there for you? And who's always gonna be here for you no matter what till your last day on earth? This person will always be here for you. If you realize that you're not alone when you have yourself, then you're not alone. So start trying to trust yourself. Start allowing yourself to believe in at least your own ability to drive the ship or to figure out how to drive the ship. If you're watching this video, then you trusted yourself enough to look into something different than what you maybe have previously experienced or believed. And if that's the case, great, great, awesome. You're opening your mind. You're taking steps forward. Now take the next step. Put something into place that you can do regularly. Then you will see a shift in your world. My 30 days of alignment challenge is perfect for that. That's actually how I started doing that very process. That was my way of getting through. What I'm talking about right now was 30 days, do not react to the stuff you don't like anymore. What happens? It was an experiment. And so you can join me on that challenge. The link is below. It will help you change your complete focus and build that trust within yourself so that you can start stepping out on a limb a little bit for yourself, dreaming a little bit bigger, not tearing down your manifestation by doubting it, by worrying that it's not gonna happen, by looking for signs, by wondering where it's at, by noticing the lack, because all of those things are symptoms of a larger issue, which is a lack of trust within yourself and or your ability to actually manifest what you want. And not only start trusting yourself, but also 
come through for yourself, right? Like if you're going to go out on the limb and trust yourself, on the other hand of it is that you got to come through for yourself. You have to prove to yourself that you are trustworthy. That means being dedicated to that process. Not just saying, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then mm, it got hard. So I fell off. I tried and I did a couple of days and I just let my, mm, it's hard. And I kind of had a, mm, yeah, whatever. Well, that's your own deal. That's your, that's what you are dealing with. That's your inability to stay focused on something, dedicate yourself to yourself or trust yourself, whatever it is, whatever that looks like to you, your wishy-washiness is definitely part of the issue. So follow through, come through, do what you say you're going to do. If you're dedicating yourself to your process and your practice, then dedicate yourself and make it a habit because this is not only just a practice. This is the most rewarding thing you could ever do in your life because Everything in the world stems from it. Your health, your mental health, your money, your career, your friends, your family, your relationships, your self-esteem, your personal power, everything comes from your mindset. So if you're not, I, I talked about this yesterday, if you're not dealing with the source of the issue and you're worried about the tainted stream below, you're wasting your efforts. Actually, in Friday's video, I'm going to talk about putting your efforts in the wrong place. That'll be linked above. If it's not here yet, check back. Now, I just like to say I'm not impervious to worry or doubt or insecurity or fear or any of that stuff. I feel I'm very open about the fact that I am human too. I deal with this every single day and it is a practice and a process for me too. I actively do it every single day, including today, including tomorrow, including yesterday, and hopefully including five years from now because that's something I worry about sometimes. Am I going to be able to carry myself throughout my life this way? Am I going to be able to maintain this lifestyle? I better, right? If I start to worry about that, what I am doing is opening up doors for more doubt to creep in. If I start to really entertain this, like, well, what do I do? Do I, would I go for another job? Would I, blah, 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 that, when I start to go, mm -mm -mm, I don't even want to do it right here in this video because it's dangerous. That is a slippery slope that I'm not willing to go down. So if I want to avoid ever having to apply for a job again, ever filling out a job application ever again, even though I'm only 36 years old, then I need to be sure and trust myself that I will continue this practice for the rest of my life. And I will never give up on it. And I will never give up on myself. I have to make that pledge to myself. I have to say, this is the practice. This is what we are doing. This is the lifestyle. This is how you will think about yourself for the rest of your life, even if that's another 65 years. For the next 65 years, you will think like this every single day, day in, day out. I will make you. I will not take days off. I will not fail you. You can trust me. I am here for you. I'm literally talking to myself right now because... I need it too. I need it too. I've been slipping. Actually, I've been slipping this last two weeks ever since all this stuff has been going on in the world. I don't, I'm just like, I'm holding on. I'm like, I'm in there with you guys in the trenches, like ah, flipping the thoughts, flipping the thoughts, flipping the thoughts, flipping the thoughts, feeling depressed, not wanting to get out of bed. I've been there this last, these last two weeks, literally with you guys. So not saying, not implying that you're depressed or anything, but if you are, I've been there with you. So it's not a destination. It's a journey and it never ends. Actually, tomorrow's video is about that. I'll link that above when it's ready. So I'm pledging to myself and I'd like you to pledge to yourself that we will not leave ourselves where we were ever again, right? We won't go back to where we were. At the very least, I'm going to make sure that I remember that I'm always creating. Even if I can't muster up the energy or the gumption to literally knock the thought off my mind and I'm just going to let it stay there, I know I'm doing it. At the very least, I'm aware of the fact that I'm indulging what I don't want to experience and it's going to come back again. That part can't stop. At the very least, I will never forget that, right? So if I choose to not fix my thoughts, that's a choice that I'm allowing to continue. But when I stop doing that, I shift the tide the other direction. So what I'm going to do is pledge to myself and you pledge to yourself that we won't let ourselves get to that point for very long again. If we get there, all right, we're here. We don't need to set up shop. Don't unpack your bags. You may get there and realize you're in that place. Get back in your car and keep driving because we don't stay here anymore. If I find myself back to where I once was, I will get myself out. I promise myself I have to. I can't let it stay for too long. 
So at the very least, we're going to dedicate to ourselves that we're going to pay attention and we're going to notice when we're doing it and we're allowing it. It's an allowance, which still keeps us in power. I'm allowing myself to, to react right now. I'm allowing it. I'm still in control. I may not be doing the smartest thing right now, but I'm still in control. We have to realize that the taking stock in our reality, the worrying, the doubting, the fearing, the not trusting ourselves or not trusting the universe to actually deliver, not knowing if this is real, not believing it's real, questioning it, whatever it is, all that stuff. That's literally what keeps the things away from us. It's not that they are away or ever could be, it's that we keep pushing them away with those thoughts. Decide what it is that you want, Keep your thoughts aligned with that reality, meaning, meaning, what does that mean when I say aligned? I'm not just using this as a buzzword, okay? What do I mean when I say keep your thoughts aligned with your chosen reality? What that means is that the version of you that you want to be, the life that you want to be living right now, the ideal best case scenario of your life right in this moment, that version of you is thinking a specific set of thoughts and none of them have to do with shit that you don't like right now because it's evidenced by the fact that they're not experiencing it. I talked yesterday about how whatever's in your mind is what you are experiencing. Whatever's in your world is what's in your mind. Whatever you're experiencing is where your thoughts are. So if your version, your ideal version is experiencing a carefree life where everything's working out and they love themselves, you can be sure they are not indulging in the things that they don't like about themselves or the world or their fears or their doubts, whatever. So say what it is that you want to experience, allow yourself to be guided towards it, and don't say otherwise. Don't entertain a thought, a doubt, a worry, a fear, an insecurity or whatever that says anything other than that. If you hear it happening in your head, you shut it down and you replace it with something else. You go somewhere better with the thought. You choose a higher quality thought. And the more you do this, the more you can trust yourself. The more you trust yourself that you will not leave yourself where you were, that you will not abandon yourself in a dark place ever again. We won't do that to ourselves. We're making the pledge right now. So I want you to comment down below. I will always be there for myself. I will always be there for myself. And this is a pledge to you to not leave yourself down in the dumps anymore. If you catch yourself there, good. You caught yourself. Now work actively to bounce your thoughts, bounce your thoughts, bounce your thoughts, bounce your thoughts until you start rising higher and higher with your quality of thought. Do some stuff that makes you happy. Dance around your living room. Talk to somebody who makes you laugh. Watch something funny, some cute animal videos or something. Listen to some affirmations, something. Get your mind off of what you're feeling right now. Distract yourself and work on controlling your thoughts. This is how you build trust for yourself and with the universe to bring you whatever it is that you're wanting. You have to give it some time before you decide it's not working. It's doing what you say it's doing. And so if you're constantly saying it's not working or fearing that it's not going to work, that's what you're experiencing. Now, if you'd like to hone your own practice, check out my 30 days of alignment challenge. It's completely free. It is in the description below at the link, but there is a paid version where you can actually get 30 days of videos from me. They're completely exclusive to the program and it just helps guide you along with a little bit of a boost. It's kind of like having me as a cheerleader in your corner every day, giving you a pep talk in the morning. You can sign up for the 30 days of alignment boot camp at the link in the description below. You can also get straight to the point and to the bottom of your limiting beliefs in my manifest a specific person workshop. That's on my website, roxytalks.com. I've also got exclusive merch, podcasts, and more. That's all at roxytalks.com as well. And of course that link is also in the description below. You can join me on social media. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society, which is a great community for like-minded individuals who are helping each other manifest. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday at noon-ish PST for Q&A. And I've got brand new videos out every Tuesday through Friday. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.